What's up, y'all? This is Aunt Glizzy and this Bob is on TV. And the day we got KP Skywalker fell off. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel when I wait 200k subscribers. I'm back, y'all. Let's turn the channel back up. Let's get it back lit. So today is y'all all know. Nah, I don't know what y'all know. I don't even know why I started off like that. But KP Skywalker, y'all all should know who KP Skywalker is. KP Skywalker is one of the DMV rappers. I used to promote him a lot, like a couple months ago. But we had a fallout. I'm going to tell y'all what the fallout was about so I ain't really been seeing him dropping no music. He signed a record deal. I ain't gonna say record deal, but he signed a Roger Beast, and I ain't really seen him drop no music for her. He used to be consistent. Then he became like a drill rapper. He used to make good music, then he became a drill rapper. Then he just stopped rapping. I don't know. I ain't heard no new KP Skywalker. Everybody used to talk about him. It was like he was so big at one point in time. I stopped talking about him, and I genuinely just don't hear nobody else talk about him. Not saying I'm the reason he fell off, but. He young. He can get back. He's got to get consistent and get back to what he started with. But y'all all know every DMV rapper started feeling themselves when they first. I watched it all happen. Every DMV rapper get their first little whiff of fame and they just start smelling themselves. KP Skywalker told me, what I look like taking 500000 I just turned down $10 million. Oh, this is four months later. Nobody will give you $10,000 right now. The show slowed up. Everything slowed up. I ain't got my hype behind it no more. If you don't know I'm the chosen one, I chose you, bro. You chose Lil Dude and a couple of links. But I ain't knocking that. Shout out to y'all. So this is how we fell out. Lil Dude wrote me some type of long Instagram post between him and a guy that I'm mutual with, my homeboy. I'm like, bro, I don't know. I think their neighborhoods don't like each other. I don't know. I'm not from neither one of their neighborhoods. I'm like, bro, why would you put me in that? This is my man. So I don't want to put our rap and business relationship with me and little dude got going on between my personal relationship with my friends. So I'm like, forget it. Just leave me out of it. But him to write me that on the internet was like disrespectful to me because I would never put little dude nothing. I don't know why he did that to me. So it went the way it went. This little notorious live that everybody see, the location, the Westchester jump. That happened, all the stuff happened. It is what it is. Though. Yeah, I ain't got no beef with nobody. I just feel like it was wrong for putting me in that. So. KP rode with his man, as he's supposed to. And in the meantime, all that, KP said something in the words of, I turned down 10 million. <laughs> that what he told me that. I said, I'll never speak to KP again. He started rapping. He rapping. He doing his little shows, and he just started beefing like early rapper. The neighborhood little dude being, getting into it with another neighborhood. KP just started dissing Early rapper from the neighborhood. Like, even if they were dissing him first, I don't know which way it went, who went first, but you wasn't even supposed to say nothing back, bro. Once you're the top rapper in the city, everybody going to say something to you, bro. I'm the top person in the city. I'd be dealing with cab drivers, truck drivers, every type of people be dealing with. Be trying to bring me down. It's just a part of the game. You feel for it. And it, like, it hindered your career. You had fans. You wasn't known for no drill rapper, all this and the third. They forgive you for getting kicked out your neighborhood. Like, they overseen that, bro. You got kicked out your neighborhood. They were still rocking with you. It's just you got all over the place. Now, the image you trying to portray, the image you trying to portray is Skino image. Like, Skino, we only know Skino for the Skino. The Skino is the image to me. I feel like he the wave. I feel like if y'all going to push the gangster the rap image, it would be Skino. You got to go back to, like, songs. It ain't nothing personal, bro, to be honest, okay, P? You ain't fall off, bro. You just ain't consistent as you was, and it ain't what it used to be. Just get back to what you know, bro. You young. You young. I know you gonna watch this video. You young, but I don't even hit a bash you no more. Like, I feel like you learned your lesson, bro. It wasn't be from B-Mo, you gave him that stamp, though. I know. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. I apologize. I ain't tripping. It's from out of town, y'all. KP Skywalker is not from Washington, D.C. And I'm gonna call this bluff. He done started all this bull with all these. Go do something. The whole city be talking, we be listening to dude them. Y'all ain't doing shit. Y'all ain't the ones in them car, none of that. Y'all be in out Maryland feeling like y'all safe. But go do something. Now you niggas do something. KP, when I was in when I was a rapper, bro, back in the day, bro, I had to get I had to earn my name, bro, in this rap shit. You ain't shot no guns, did nothing for this shit. You living off Aunt Glizzy cosign, bro. Nobody don't know shit. Aunt Glizzy said your name a couple times. We don't know you for nothing, gangster. Now get your little bippin' light skin that's outside and shoot somebody. So if I don't see you on murder mayhem for shooting in the next 30 months, you ain't know nothing either. Your name is Charles. 
You don't got more money than my little brother. You don't nothing. You ain't fly than my little brother. You ain't nothing. I can just put my little brother in it. I don't even got to say me. I'm too old. You don't got more money than my little brother. He not no big ass rapper. You don't got nothing like nothing. Your car ain't better. You can't swag. Your chain ain't better. Your watch ain't nothing. <laughs> My little brother make you look like a, like you can even, you, know, you can wash this car. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, not less than a teacher, it's just muscle, bro. Y'all don't go against me, I don't go against y'all. Y'all don't put me in nothing, I won't put y'all in nothing. I know not to add you a little dude, no long Instagram posts. I would have called y'all, bro, before it even got there. Why would the phone calls come after y'all at me in the post? That's fake. But all them re rappers, I watched everybody do it. I watched Cute the Food go to Rock Nation to back to Rock Bottom. I watched YBS Scola turn all the way up, Meek Mill Dream Chasers, Every Day We Shining. So now I'm back in the projects of Baltimore outside with stories. The only person I, I gotta give him this credit, shot made it to Fathers. He still got his outfits and his little industry connections. He still make it look good right here and then when he pop out, but he don't pop out enough. He ain't more relevant than these little babies and these gunners, and he ain't even in no category. So. Just a big ass local rapper that just made it to the industry. Ain't no hate in my blood. Y'all know y'all gonna call me the hater. Who else? Will the rapper? <laughs> Fetrio. Everybody. Even Aunt Glizzy. I had a buzz in 2015. People don't even remember I rap. I just know when to quit and let it go. I could drop some mixtapes right now just because I'm buzzing on who I am as a person. But I ain't into it. And y'all only had one lane. Rap, rap don't work. It's over for y'all, man. But I'm telling you, I get a CDL and start a family. It ain't even necessary. I done been through a lot out here myself. But, yeah, so, I don't know. KP went from Tafrika to hit a glizzy with the glizzy. Take the glizzy off. From hit him with the something, something. Take the something off. I'm like, damn. DMV rap is over to me. I, I don't feel like all that free car music is all the same. It's just like, you want to rap it till you go to jail or pass away? No savage, the only person I feel like I say DMV re rap right now, but y'all ain't gonna listen to me. Y'all all y'all gonna say is Aunt Glizzy, you a hater, you be hating on everybody. The truth gonna always sound like hate. And y'all gotta know this just my opinion. This not everybody else in the world opinion. Y'all be taking my opinion like it's the last opinion in the world. This just my opinion the way I feel. KP Skywalker was on ten in the summertime. Right now he on like two. I don't even know his last song. I don't know what he posted. I don't know what he do. I don't know you know what he got going on. I'm not even in tune to it. This is how crazy this is. I didn't been booked last week, and I got new. I got two bookings in the, this month. All three this month, three booked three times this month. I don't even rap. I'm getting booked for hostings. I'm going to the club, spending money. You feel what I'm saying? So obviously they ain't got nothing going on. I might as well start adding some songs to it. So when I go to the club, I can crank a song. It'll make sense. But yeah, this for all the damn re rappers that's up and coming. When y'all up and coming, and y'all just gotta stay humble when you're up. Your upbringing because you're gonna burn every bridge on your way back down because you're gonna come back down. This is the DMV. It's like, ah, you get to a certain point, you gotta come back down. Even me, I, I had my run a couple times, came back down, but I'm I'm humble. Y'all just don't know I'm humble. When I be arrogant, that's just my character. I built to be arrogant on this internet, but in real life, I help people. I'm just genuine. I'm a good person. But KP Skywalker, the fall off was, I need to be studied in the museum, though. I don't know what happened. Y'all got to tell me what happened to KP. I don't know. He was lit. He was getting everything. Mm -mm. I had some loyalty out here to somebody. You're going to have to pick the streets or music career. You can't do both. It's the only way you're going to win in life. You're going to be a musician. You got to be 100% musician. You know, my life changed. I became a YouTuber, 100% content creator. All I do is create content. My whole life is content creator. I don't do nothing outside of my craft. That's the way it works. But I ain't here to rap, y'all. Love KP fell off, y'all. Y'all know he fell off. Get the bibbing on him. He dissed me, and now I had to start tripping on him. Mm -mm -mm. Ty Freak. I wonder if Ty Freak is still on that blow up. And KP had a 36 millimeter Rolex watch. Bro, he sold that junk, man. It ain't get that bad. Why you sell your watch, KP? You know the streets be talking. But I ain't gonna do you like that. Follow us on TV. <laughs>